dealing with a level of change really unlike anything we've seen. And sometimes that change is so overwhelming, we just want to put our head in the sand, dig our heels in, and just do what we did yesterday, do what's comfortable or what's familiar. But we got to look outside ourselves and our business as usual activities to try something completely different. Libby Gill is one of those people who gets it. She oversaw the publicity campaigns for a number of seriously successful TV shows that you know everybody heard about, Mad About You, Married with Children, and Jeopardy and Will of Fortune. There were so many. So she's had a lot of change in her life that she's navigated and landed on her feet. When I came to Libby, I had this idea that there was something I was missing, there was something I was supposed to be doing that was just big, but it was beyond big. So what Libby's really helped me to do is to very much clarify that vision and put it in context of, of my strengths. What do you think is the one trait that distinguishes a truly great leader? There's one other trait that I think is the most significant and the most overlooked and that element is hope. Hope actually comes from an old English word, hopian, which means to leap forward with expectation. It lets you look at the future knowing that there are hurdles and obstacles and proceeding anyway. So you combine belief the change is possible, expectation that the actions you take will have a positive impact. And what it means in the workplace is that belief drives behavior. Belief that change is possible. Because you are genetically predisposed to be a hopeful leader. No, no. <laughs> I had you there for a second though, didn't I? We are wedded to our belief systems. We are wedded to what's comfortable for us and sometimes looking at it from the other person's point of view can be really difficult. So you want to think about there are other ways to do things, there are other ways to be. As leaders, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, we often get sidetracked by all these multiple paths we could take. Not that you don't have many priorities, but just Think about that one overriding vision. Clarify that vision for yourself in dollars and percentage growth and accomplishment, whatever it's meaningful to you that is also measurable. Then you simplify the path. What's the bottom line? How do you make it not complicated? The world is complicated enough, but we've got to look at ways to simplify so we can free up the brain for creative thought, strategy, innovation, for those other ideas to pop in and so that other people can connect with a simple, grand idea. So it's clarify the vision, simplify the path, and execute the plan. That, to me, is the whole secret to success. We are thrilled with what they're able to actually take out of the session and implement as soon as they get back to work. Her guidance, her wisdom. She does an amazing job in helping us grow, achieve, and connect. So it's really about this, this vision of the future that is fueled by passion, but grounded in pragmatism. And that's what high hope people do. We set more goals. We believe in our own agency. We believe we can take us to a better tomorrow, a better future. We reach the goal because we've got our eyes open to what the setbacks will be and we believe it's worth fighting for.